What's up, Elite Thenx athletes? I'm Stefan Heria, and welcome to another video of Official Thenx. Today, I'm going to be taking you guys through a full body beginner workout. For today's workout, we're going to be utilizing the Thenx app. If you don't have it, you can download it at the App Store or Google Play Store. Once you have it downloaded, head to Beginner Workouts, click on Part 1, Whole Body, press Start Workout, and let's begin. This workout starts with a warm up, so follow along and let's do it together. First move is jumping jacks, 30 seconds. All right, so for the warm up, we have no breaks and we're going right into mountain climbers, 30 seconds. Last exercise of the warm up is plank, knees to elbows. 30 seconds. For those of you following along, you're gonna to wanna to repeat this warm up one more time, but I'm gonna move on and get right into the workout. All right, the first exercise to this workout routine is gonna be push ups, and we're gonna do it 15 times. So, to start with the push up, your hands are gonna be shoulder width apart, elbows are gonna bend down and close towards your body, press back up 15 times. Of course, you wanna keep your core tight, glutes tight so that your hips aren't sagging, and keep that perfect form. 15 times. All right. So with this round, each exercise has a 30 second break but I'm gonna try and get through it without taking those breaks. The next exercise we have is half burpees, 10 times. Half burpee is just like a burpee, except we're not gonna jump all the way up at the top. So come down, push up position, explode up to your feet, and back down, that's one. Moving on to the next exercise, we have low plank to high plank, 30 seconds. All right, to start this exercise, we're gonna start at the bottom of the plank and we're gonna raise up one arm at a time and alternating. Make sure to keep your core tight so that there's a straight line between your shoulder, hips, and your toes. Alright, 
All right, let's get into the next exercise. We have jump squats and we're gonna do it 15 times. With this exercise, you wanna make sure that at the bottom of each squat, your heels are planted firmly on the ground. Knees don't pass the toes. Chest is up, back straight, jump up and repeat. 15 times. All right, next move is jump pull-ups. This exercise is a great progression for those of you who cannot do pull-ups yet. When doing this exercise, I want you guys to maintain your elbows in front of you and pull in a down position instead of out and to the side. All right, let's go for 10 jump pull-ups. All right, moving on, we have two last exercises, each one being an isometric hold. First one is the tuck L-sit hold for 15 seconds. Now, if you can't hold the entire 15 seconds, you could break it up in seven and a half and seven and a half seconds, or break it up into three, five seconds each. With this exercise, you're gonna wanna bring your knees to your chest, feet elevated, keep your core tight, and hold 15 seconds. All right, last exercise of round one is gonna be handstand hold against the wall for 15 seconds. All right, to start this exercise, I'm gonna have my hands about six inches away from the wall. I'm gonna start with my fingers spread out. Hands are also shoulder width apart. So now I'm gonna kick up with my hips leading towards the wall. Of course, I don't want my hips to actually touch the wall. We just wanna maintain a straight line from our shoulders, hips and toes and the only point of contact on the wall will be the back of my heel. That completes round one. For those of you not yet comfortable in holding a handstand against the wall, you can either do this exercise by walking it back up in a wall walk or holding a pike hold. So this is gonna complete the first round. You have two more to go before completing this workout and clicking finish workout. This is a great workout for beginners out there trying to get into calisthenics as it incorporates all the basics of calisthenics and helps you increase the strength to progress to harder exercises throughout your fitness journey. So make sure you're always using perfect form and full range of motion to really get the best out of your workout. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this video or it helped you in any way, definitely smash that like button and share it with a friend. To get this workout and more workouts like this, head to thenx.com, become a member to get full access to all our workout programs, technique guides, and daily workouts that are gonna have you in the best shape of your life. Download the Thenx app in the app store to take our workouts with you anywhere and join the millions of other 10 athletes around the world changing their lives today. Remember, we post every Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. And if you comment within the first 30 minutes, you always have a chance to win some 10 gear. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next Sunday.